Brad just doing business. Just getting his gaga on. Tell me something, Brad. Welcome to episode four of this van build, and today is the day that I'm most excited for, because we get to put these on trays and install the sliding wrap mounts for my mountain bike. If you want to catch up on the videos, click up there. Alan, how excited are you for these? Friggin' pumped! It's gonna be great. Now, we've yeah. got a couple of obstacles to overcome, yeah. but we'll tell you all about it in this video. So these are the mounts we're using, kindly given to us by Rocky Mounts. Thank you very much, crew. So the benefit of these is that you can fit in pretty much any front axle going on here, and they lock. And this is kind of the go-to mount. All right, Alan, step one. As you see here, we have a lot to contend with. There's all the fresh water, doesn't be all the electrical. Use the space as efficient as possible. But we've taken everything into account, so yeah. my handlebars are gonna slide in over this. Yeah, pedals will slide under. And these are the Feet big- drawer slides. And what are these rated to? 400 pounds, and they lock locking features, so they lock when they're extended and when they're closed. So we're gonna cut this first? Yeah, and then we'll just put the bikes on top with the mounts slide it in and see what we're working with. May as well do the, the yeah. big rig. So lovingly, oh no, that's not the, oh no, that's not the big rig. I thought you were pointing at the downhill bike. Yeah, let's put the downhill bike on the far left, I reckon. And it should be also noted that we're gonna do something <laughs> that's never been done before in bike tray making. We are gonna turn the handlebars at an angle. Bring the height up. So yeah. if we don't need to, we'll see, we'll see. And the other thing we've got to puzzle is obviously these bars can't hit on this side. Then we've got the other tray that's going to be all storage on this side. And the bikes have got to be able to be pulled out without this one having to come out. There's a lot to think about. First go, Alan. Trying it with them just straight in. And it looks like this will be a very small yeah, that's two, that's two. So now we've got to condense them. I mean, you can you can rearrange these pedals for sure on this side anyway. Yeah, there, and then get that underneath. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go back. Yeah, there we go. Just in there. That's like the, that's the dream. That's the crappy thing is the, this handlebar being so, if we can jack that up to be like this one, uh, you know. Yeah, that's complete. Yeah, solve, you can completely do that. That'll solve that issue. Once this is raised up, so let me get, a, I'll just put a block in for now. Okay. <laughs> That is large. The blocks have been sought. One or the other of these ones will be just a little bit forward. But that's pretty good, man. The only trouble is, yeah, when you when you slide out and if you want to get this one out. But well, like that's that's why, the, yeah, there's going to be sacrifices. In the middle. Yeah, that one doesn't won't get out as much as yeah. the ones on the outside, right, I'd cool. say. Plus then it's like, it's two long ones and one short one in the middle. This was the goal for me. It was the goal was this line. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. There's this difference here with the gear shifter, because that's still like it three inches. It will go up though, right? Once mm. we get the mounts, everything, it, it'll, everything will raise up. Mm. Yeah, already. I guess so. And we're getting, like, this is the line we can't go above, but we don't have a ton. That's where the, that's the bottom of the bed. Ideally, we're trying to keep the bed as low as possible. How much up will the plywood make it? The actual tray? Yeah, well that's, if we can use three quarter, that'd be great, but if we're getting too close, I'll just have to slim it down. Oh, yeah. Larry. You're not going on this bike rack. Can you remember if the idea that if we turn the handlebars, then we're gonna have to put this on the same, because it's not gonna be flat then. So it'd be easy to just shim it. Are you curious how heavy the whole thing's gonna be? Well, this bike is 35 pounds. I think this one is 33. Uh, I don't know what the dirt jumper is. I'd probably guess like 23 or something. <laughs> Boom. Oh, it's just rubbing up against the back. The back wall. wall. Okay. Yeah, where well, it's touching the wall. I don't think you can so get much time I'll that. just bring this one, I'll bring this forward. Ooh. This one can go way further back. Hmm. Accurate shimming. You just have to put a little shim underneath one of them. 
Angle it up a bit. Bob's your sister. And, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Bob's your sister. Yeah. We'll take it out. That's great. Still there? That's fine. That one pedal just slots right in that gap. Well, well, we I think that's got like. So we're looking pretty good on here. Even if I have my bars a little bit wider next year, there's room on the front bit. That's all good. And then this is how the back looks. Ooh. Yeah, it's just that this one's got heaps of room. Okay. It's just this one is like touching. Yeah, that well, I can come back. Oh, I might just put a smaller rear wheel on next year. That would actually <laughs> solve that problem. <laughs> if you look at when the door is shut though, it's still okay. Oh yeah, got like, yeah, that's like everything that's else. perfect. Yeah, put the dresser yeah, right here. You can still fine. use above it for whatever too. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> It'll be up to about there. Yeah, and that you can still, I can go unlatch, pull yeah. out. You'll yeah. have your hose there for the shower. You can literally have them all up here and just like hose them off or whatever. So yeah, this should be easy getting this guy out, hey? This yeah, is, that's way fine. less yeah, yeah. hassle than it looked like. Yeah, yeah. It's out. That looks dialed. Uh, this is a oh, It definitely looks like a window, Alan, mate. A window. So I think we're off to a good start. Here we go again. He's a whole driller. Cool. <laughs> You're here filming? I hope. Yeah, right. Luckily, I got it. There's another hole. The final, this is the final hole, though. Big moves now, Alan. Those things are so cool. Oh, yeah! That's so cool! It, it fits? Have a good fit. What do you have to do first? Peel that tape off. Okay, and then that's uh, that's about it. It's got its own its own gasket here. Oh, okay, what's the I gasket? <laughs> It'll keep the water out. Oh, good. Um, Thanks. When you put the trim ring on the back and screw it all through, that'll compress the gasket. Like, what brand are these? This is from CR Lawrence. They're Pro the tip. Um, CR Lawrence. <laughs> Pro tip. I just don't learn, do I? Bam! Happy days. And there it is, window all installed. Show the feature, Alan. Which, oh, this? Yeah, that. Neato. Neato. <laughs> Do burrito. <laughs> With the floor of the bike tray glued in and fully dry, Alan begins to build out the sides. While he does this, Brad works on the electronics for the van, but that's for the next episode, so make sure you hit the subscribe button below and don't miss that one. Alan glues and screws each piece into place, making adjustments to get the fit just right. After this, he builds a cleaner version of the block for the front of the middle bike, and like the rest of the van's interior, Formica is used to cover the wood for an easy to clean, bright finish. Big moment. The bit everyone wants to see. Oh yeah. And here we are, 
already in the finished garage. Why, you might ask? Well, let me explain. I've made almost 100 videos or so this year. This is the one that I really messed up. We had some amazing footage of us putting the bikes in for the first time, celebrating, high-fiving, everything had gone well and amazing, but incredibly, this guy decided to delete the SD card. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you all the inner workings of this. Not to forget that we've got a whole other sliding tray to build here, which this is gonna be like the little storage thing. So if you wanna really know how all this goes together, that is gonna be shown in this. Don't worry, I know a lot of you have been commenting on the other videos that you're not showing how it's made. We're gonna show this how this one's made to make up for this one. But why don't we get Alan in and take a look at this incredible sliding bike tray. Okay, Alan. Yes. Welcome to the, definitely the first time that we've revealed this. Why don't we put some bikes in here and show these guys how it looks? And then I gotta remember the pedal beta. Woo. That worried me for a second. Looking dope. So let's come right up through, underneath through the whole block. And then we were a bit worried about the brake lever, but that's like perfect. We've discovered as well that the Rocky Mounts mounts. That little extra, you got like an extra inch to play with. Easy. Yeah. Holy mother of God. <laughs> that is actually how it was the first time as well. That's perfect. Do you know what the funny thing is that I just moved that, tilted that lever up. But it fitted before, which is the funny thing. The bikes fit so beautifully. This, uh, this one-up flat pedal fits just in behind the ransom. And then here we go. This is it. Height, you can see, it's pretty tight over this. When that has a pedal, the pedal will go under. Handlebars go over. Locks into place like a glove. Three bikes ready for Instagram photos. That leaves room for this uh, dresser. That'll be also on sliders. Slide out, Dra drawers will slide out this way. You can have your tools, whatever you want. We left this open for ease of cleaning and take the bikes out and you can plug your quick connect in, spray it or sweep it or whatever. And then also, well they're probably surprised to see are these amazing cabinets and the bed. Why don't we save that for the next episode? So there we have it, van building punters. We've got the tray in. Apologies for the missing of the amazing footage, but I'm pretty sure, I think we got most of it here. So if you want to see the next video, which is all about how we got those cabinets up and the bed, hit the subscribe button, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and of course, watch it twice. See you next time.